You know what to do. Command. We have confirmation of multiple intruders at the United India House. The Metropolitan Police has been ordered to remain on standby. The protection and safety of Lord Hastings is our primary concern. Apprehend any suspects with extreme caution. <laughs> Stay where you are. Wait, I can't I explain. said, don't move. You arrive in good time. We received a report of a disturbance. 
Yes, Sir Galahad stormed in here with a filthy band of rebels intent on killing me. It's a lie. Oh, see the result of that little incursion. Sir Galahad's accomplice was a woman. The leader of the rebellion, in fact. She eluded our grasp. Not for long. You will order the company guards to stand down, Lord Hastings. We knights will see to the capture of the rebel leader. Izzy, listen to me. You're making a grave mistake. Sir Percival, take this intruder into custody. I am truly sorry this office must fall upon you, Marquis. No more than I am, Monsieur. Get him out of my sight. I thank you, Lady Igraine. Your intervention was truly fortuitous. We are only carrying out our sworn duty, Lord Hastings. They're all the same, my lady. You would do well to keep a close eye on that traitor. You may expect to be summoned before the courts. Your testimony will be required. I am always at the service of Her Majesty's Knights. The prisoner stands accused of the most heinous crimes. Sir Galahad has betrayed our ancient trust. More than this, he has conspired with godless rebels. Adding to his litany of evil, he has presumed to take the life of our esteemed Chamberlain, Lord Hastings. Sir Galahad is a base traitor. A man without honor or scruple. I ask the Council to impose the supreme penalty. I beg the Council's indulgence. Let us not forget Sir Galahad's service to this order over the centuries. Perhaps our brother Knight can be saved. And once more put onto the righteous path. The Knight Commander shows too much leniency. The proof against the traitor is... Irrefutable. I saw Sir Galahad in the company of the rebel leader. I was too far away to hear them clearly, but they seemed on familiar terms. They were leaving an establishment known to harbor rebels. Sir Galahad sought an audience with the Lord Chancellor and me. He hurled a number of senseless accusations at the United India Company and seemed intent on finding Lord Hastings. Bring in Lord Hastings. Lord Hastings, you have identified the prisoner as your assailant? Sir Galahad infiltrated our headquarters late night accompanied by the rebel leader and her followers. I could not be sure that the man I was following was Sir Galahad until I found his coat, discarded near the rebel hideout. As his commander, I tried to dissuade him from pursuing his allegations. 